Hey everyone, Sumo Spiffy here. Welcome to our latest preview for Natsu 2023, this one for Takano Sho and Takara Fuji. This one isn't one of those back and forth head to head matchups. Takano Sho has a lifetime 9 2 record against Takara Fuji, including wins in all four of the most recent matches we'll watch here. Let's see if we can figure out why Takano Sho has been so dominant and if there's anything Takara Fuji can do to turn things around. We'll start with Hatsu 2022. Both men come in with similar angles on the Tachi eye, although that gives Takano Sho the advantage of being a bit lower given the height difference between them. Takano Sho's hands are up, aiming directly for the chest, Takara Fuji's hands are lower, and Takano Sho makes the initial contact. Takara Fuji defends well, pulling up on Takano Sho's left arm and essentially grabbing the right forearm from underneath. The forearm grab is key. It locks Takano Sho in and prevents the push from sending Takara Fuji back. The forearm hold is also the source of Takara Fuji's attack. By continuing to control the arm and adding in this tug on Takano Sho's left elbow, he's able to swing his opponent off balance. Takano Sho does a little frog hop to try and keep his balance, but now Takara Fuji is to his side and could not be in a better position to launch Takano Sho out of the ring. Takano Sho, however, pushes his right arm up to reduce the push Takara Fuji can get with his left. Given his stance, this is Takara Fuji's power hand. His right hand doesn't get much of a push on Takano Sho's jaw, so with Takara Fuji's left arm negated, Takano Sho is able to brace against the rope and recover. Takara Fuji should still have the advantage here, but Takano Sho's recovery pushes Takara Fuji's left foot back, leaving him with a neutral stance. When Takano Sho instantly counters by driving him back, Takara Fuji has no way to defend himself with footwork, so the only thing he can try is pushing down on Takano Sho's arms to blunt the push. But even the relatively small amount of hand contact he maintains is enough, momentum does the rest of the work. They fought again in the next Basho in March 2022. <laughs> Both men approach the Tachi eye the same way. Takano Sho's hands are up, Takara Fuji's are lower. Takara Fuji attempts the same forearm grab, but Takano Sho recognizes it and snaps his arm away. Without Takano Sho's arm secured, Takara Fuji goes for the left hand belt grab, but Takano Sho pinches his right arm down and in and prevents this. With his left hand on Takara Fuji's back, he's defensively secure for the moment. Takara Fuji battles to regain control of his left arm, but this time Takano Sho is the one secure with the forearm clamp. Takara Fuji battles on his right side now, pushing Takano Sho's elbow up, but with Takano Sho's weight on him and the clamp on his arm preventing any sort of step back pushdown, he can't muster much of an attack. However, in this position, neither can Takano Sho. Only now, when Takara Fuji frees his hand and Takano Sho presses into the armpit, does this change. Takara Fuji barrels his weight forward, but with his hands on Takano Sho's sides, his right arm clamped, and Takano Sho bracing on the rope, he has almost no pushing power with which to finish the fight. Just like in the first fight, Takara Fuji gets too neutral in his stance and has no way to stop the momentum when Takano Sho counters attacks with his own drive. They didn't meet again until November. <laughs> The Tachi eye looks essentially the same. However, we can see a change in Takano Sho's approach from this angle. He's keeping his right arm below Takara Fuji's left. It's noteworthy that even though he's dominating the head to head, Takano Sho is the one altering his approach. This leads to an exchange where each man has his right arm under the other's left and each pushes up, leading to all four arms flying upwards. Takano Sho is quicker to respond, immediately thrusting his right hand into Takara Fuji's neck while both of Takara Fuji's hands swing down. Takara Fuji swats up with his left defensively, but Takano Sho's hand is already gone and he completely whiffs. Everything has gone wrong for Takara Fuji here. When Takano Sho plants his face into Takara Fuji's shoulder and both hands on his chest, it's purely a moment to survive and try to turn things around. Takara Fuji jumps back getting Takano Sho's left hand off his chest and making a pretty solid pushdown attempt. But once his arm slips off and it hasn't worked, all he can do is brace for impact. Their last match was this January. Okay. 
On the Tachi Eye, Takanosho does the same thing as last time, bringing his right arm in under Takara Fuji's left. The only apparent difference is that Takara Fuji has decided, probably wisely, not to try and trap Takanosho's left forearm. Instead, he allows Takanosho to reach out with it before clamping down. However, from the opposite angle, we can see that Takanosho has trapped his left arm and made it effectively useless. They battle, Takanosho's left arm doesn't appear much more useful than Takara Fuji's, but he can at least shove it back and forth and force Takara Fuji to more actively defend it. They both separate, pulling back, trying to control the other's arm while creating space with which to attack. When Takara Fuji slaps down both of Takanosho's arms, this could be the beginning of some useful offense. Unfortunately, he can't raise his arms up as quickly as Takanosho, giving Takanosho priority when he lands a right-handed push to the face. Takara Fuji recovers well enough to grasp Takanosho's right arm with both of his at a relatively advantageous angle. If he's going to make something happen, now is the time. But Takanosho simply powers his right arm free and immediately lands another push to the face. From there, all he has to do is just not screw it up. Takanosho has been able to dominate this matchup for a few reasons. One, Takara Fuji refuses to do anything different on the Tachi Eye, which leads to Takanosho drilling him in the jaw with his forehead. Even though he's generally able to create a neutral position from that point, he could certainly use a way of gaining some kind of upper hand on the start. Two, Takara Fuji has a power game, and Takanosho can match or beat him in that regard. Three, Takanosho has shown quicker hands at every opportunity. And finally, in recent Bashos, Takara Fuji has turned to sidesteps and pushdowns at the rope, but Takanosho has never given him a real chance to use that tactic against him. Unless he's willing to look for a different strategic angle, or unless Takanosho's knee starts acting up, it's hard to see Takara Fuji winning unless Takanosho makes a mistake. That's it for day 5, like it if you learned something, and I'll see you tomorrow.